I don't know if he's still governor or not. Uh, he tells you you're weak-minded. Uh, you're crippled, too high for crutches. Uh, you're, uh, you're, you need to feeble, uh, comfort the feeble-minded because that's what you are. In the world's eyes, you, you, have a, you, have, you don't uh, understand. You're ignorant. You're, uh, you're uh, clinging to your guns and your Bible, one individual said. And, uh, you know, that, like, that's a, that is a, a bad thing to cling to a gun or a bottle. Now, there's two things there I could sell with a clean conscience. Mm -hmm. A weapon or a bottle. Especially a King James Bible. Mm -hmm. King James Bible, I could sell that all day long and have a clear conscience. I could give them away. I could sell a gun and have a clear conscience. I couldn't sell a car and have a clear conscience. Yeah. Why? Because, well, you know, used car salesmen, if you ever dealt with them. <laughs> kind of like lawyers. You know why a shark won't need a lawyer? Professional courtesy. That's why he won't. But see, you know, we, we laugh, we make jokes, and that's fine. I mean, it's done nothing wrong joke. I don't have no problem with it. They laugh at me. That's fine. But the thing is, is that that's the truth. Uh, that's the way they look at you. Uh, you're, you're the outcast. You're the oddball. Uh, you're the nut. You hand out a track. You get out there on the street and preach. Uh, you try to see uh, so win somebody to Jesus Christ. You try to win a soul, and they'll look at you like, man, won't you leave them people alone? What are you doing pushing your religion down their throat? But yet they'll they'll push sodomy yeah. in school. Yeah. Yeah. They'll push they'll push uh, 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 any other uh, type of uh, humanistic mm -hmm. uh, theology that they believe, like evolution. You say, well, evolution is a fact. No, evidently you can't read English either because it says evolutionary theory, the theory of evolution. That doesn't make it a fact. Amen. Hey, listen, I'm, I'm willing to teach anything on level. Just give it level ground. See, and I'll tell you another thing probably most people don't know because they don't read. Now, you got, you got to get these dumb huckleberries like us that will pick up a book and read. Uh, and, you know, they, you, you go back and you start reading the transcripts from the Scopes monkey trials. And the whole thing, the whole case was, is that they wanted the, to teach it equally. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to have been taught equally in school. Mm -hmm. But once they passed that law, once the judge made his ruling, they never taught creationism. What they do? They lie. Mm -hmm. What they did, they lie. But you won't get that, but you're going to have to go back and read it. Even the world ain't going to tell you that. You know what they're going to tell you? All them Christians are stupid. I'm stupid because I believe in God. But you believe something that is physically impossible according to the thermal, law of thermodynamics. The law of thermodynamics, one of the laws there states that you can't create or destroy matter. Amen? Go look it up. Don't be dumb all your life. Pick up a book. One of the laws of thermodynamics states that you cannot create or destroy matter. If I burn a piece of wood, guess what? I have not destroyed that wood. I've just changed the matter. That's all I've done. I've changed it from one state to another. A real simple experiment with that is water. I can change water from a liquid to a solid to a vapor and then back again. That's all. But you can't destroy it. You can't get nothing hot enough to destroy it. Now, God will destroy it. But they'll have you believe that you're dumb and stupid because you believe in God. But they'll teach your children, your little, your little darling, they'll teach them that everything came from nothing in a big bang. Well, now that's kind of strange because you can't create matter. So where did this big bang come from? How do you get a big bang from nothing? If you've got nothing, then it's nothing. You can't take nothing and make something. So who's stupid? Amen. But you're considered the nut. You're considered the uh, individual that is not intelligent enough to tie your shoes and walk around. You're the one that's a threat to the country. You're the ones that need to be, you know, caged up somewhere in re-educational camps. Amen. Antifa and all them cats. But I'll tell you something. Take your Bible. Turn with me. Now, I've, I've, I've ran and raved. That's my introduction. 
on what things that the world's looking at, but I want to tell you some people that God's looking for. God's looking for some people. God's want, you know what God wants to use? He wants to use people. God don't care nothing about an institution. Uh, God don't care nothing about religion. Because religion will send you to hell. That's what religion will do for you. Religion will send you to hell. If you're depending on a religion, you're going to hell. You better be having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ somewhere. Because my salvation is dependent upon a man. The man, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Not the church. Any church. Don't matter. See, but you don't, hey, you don't hear very many preachers preaching that, do you? No, because they don't want that. Why? They may lose their attendance. They're more after that filthy lucre. They're, listen, you keep your money by yourself a new shirt. I don't need it. Amen. You know what I want? I'm looking for souls. I'm looking souls for the kingdom. I'm looking for people to get saved and do something for Jesus Christ to bring him glory. I don't care if you ever mention my name again. It won't matter. Why? Because when I get to glory, I'm going to get with my reward there. Amen. You got your Bible in Ezekiel chapter 22. Notice with me in verse 30. The Bible said, and here now is the Bible, and the Lord is speaking, Lord God is speaking. He 